ons gesels spek, bome, en ons gesels nou, uh, lekker story, Peter Strimpton, ons gaan een beetje kaap toe, hoof uit uh, voor een bestuurder van Hard Capital. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, how are you today? No, lovely. Uh, I just want to introduce you to the people. You've got an interesting story where a, a banker into hedge funds and JSC and decided in 2002 to become a social entrepreneur, uh, started Hard Capital. Just a little bit of background, uh, um, you know, what brought the change? Well, I was diagnosed with cancer, to be quite honest with you. And uh, when I looked at my life, I realized that I'd never done anything for anybody else on the planet but myself. And uh, at my lowest point, I found myself on bent knees, and I vowed that if I didn't die of cancer, that I would uh, turn my life around and spend the rest of my days trying to make a difference on this planet. Mm. So you started Heart Capital, um, and it's also amazing. I mean, a lot of projects, social entrepreneurship, realizing getting people off the ground with projects, and it just grew um, up to a project to build the largest labyrinth in the world, going to be visible from space. So just tell us about the project, and we're going to chat a bit later about Wonder entrepreneurs that I love as well. You know, what a lot of people don't realize is that just recently, over 11,000 scientists published an article to say that the world is in a climate emergency. And unless we do something to regress carbon emissions, humanity could face extinction within the next 50 to 100 years. And obviously, this is catastrophic. What a lot of people don't realize about climate change is the problem is exponential. It's only going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. And so I wanted to do something about climate change. I've got four children, and I didn't want to think of them having to go through what I hear is um, the future for humanity unless we do it. And I started researching what can somebody do, a private individual, to neutralize their carbon footprint. And that's when I discovered this wonderful little plant called Speckworm and how amazing it is at sequestering um, CO2 from the atmosphere. And so when I saw that, I thought, hey, this is a really great tool for me to be able to neutralize my carbon footprint. And then I wanted to come up with a project that would promote mindfulness. You know, cl climate change is such a big issue. People think, oh, well, I can't tackle that. It's too big for me. But that's not the truth. The fact is that there's 7 billion people on the planet all have an attitude of thinking climate change is so big they don't have to do anything about it. Well, that just makes the problem worse. And so I wanted to raise awareness for climate change and carbon footprints. And I went onto the Internet and I asked, what is a, a, a product or, or, or something that can um, promote mindfulness and introspection? And I very quickly stumbled across labyrinths. These are very ancient, mystical shapes. Nobody even knows what their origin is, but they've been around for thousands of years. And when I saw labyrinths and the potential of labyrinths, I made the connection between speckworm, its ability to sequester carbon atmosphere, labyrinths and their ability to promote mindfulness. And then I've always wanted to build something so big you can see it from space. So I went onto the internet and typed in what man-made structures can you see from space? And the very first one that I saw was the Great Pyramid of Giza. And I thought, fantastic, let's do that. Let's build a, a, a labyrinth the same size as the Great Pyramid of Giza. Sure. And what's quite amazing as well, again with the social entrepreneurship, um, you get people that plant the backworms and the, the wonder plant trepreneurs, trepreneurs. Uh, not entrepreneurs. <laughs> and then, I mean, it's guys that ba basically got a full business today because we can buy the trees from them um, to contribute. You want to plant 90,000 trees. That's uh, the size um, of this labyrinth. And just uh, how is it going to work in terms of can someone sponsor? I know they can sponsor one line. I think the biggest circle is a kilometer circle and it becomes smaller to form this labyrinth. No, that's absolutely right. When I realized that spec boom is so easy to propagate, I'm also recognized that we could use this as a way to lift people out of poverty. So three years ago, I bought just 300 trees. I invested 900 rand. I went into townships and I found the poorest of the poor. Honestly, people who had a space behind their shack the size of a door. And I started to give them the materials, the packet, the compost, and the clippings. And I showed them how to propagate those trees. And they began to grow spec boom for me. Mm. I'm very pleased to say today that we have 164,000 trees currently in stock. We've planted over 65,000 trees in the last um, three years. And out of this program, we identified some superstars. 
These were young people that, you know, weren't just happy with looking after a few hundred spec boom and making perhaps a few extra thousand rand here or there. These were young guys that said, hey, if you give me the responsibility and you show me how to run a business, I'll really grow into being one of your producers. And today we have five young entrepreneurs, treepreneurs we call them, and each one of them has got 25,000 spec boom trees. All of them were living in shacks. All of them were working on the side of the road, unemployed. They genuinely had no future. And now each one of them has got a business that's already got an asset which is worth over a quarter of a million rand to them. Mm. Uh, just we've got like 10 seconds. Peter, where can people find out more about Labyrinth and um, be part of this project? So our website is www.greatlabyrinth.co.za. We've also got a Facebook page. If you just search for Great Labyrinth, I'm sure you'll come across us. And very definitely, we're looking for volunteers to come and help us plant the 90,000 trees. We're looking for corporate sponsors who want to purchase the naming rights in the, in the Great Labyrinth. But most importantly, we want to use this project to get everybody in South Africa to plant spec boom. Not even just about just plant spec boom. We've got a campaign called I Plant 10. And we're encouraging every South African to go out and buy 10 spec boom trees and plant them. That way we can influence a million people. And if a million people each plant 10 trees, well, then the Great Labyrinth Project has made a significant contribution to uh, climate change. Mm. Thank you so much for your time and amazing what you're doing. Thank you so you're much best. for interviewing me. Great. Thank Bye. you, Peter. Bye. Uh, subscribe, subscribe. Playlist, playlist. Subscribe, subscribe. Playlist, playlist.